Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this frame using moment distribution method. Before analyzing, let us see the frame one time. In this frame, there are two stories. In the beams, we have uniformly distributed load 18 kN per meter. In the columns, there are no loads. The first story is 4 meter height. The second story is also 4 meter height. Length of the beams are 8 meter. The moment of inertia for the columns is I. The moment of inertia for the beams is 2I. Now let us find the fixed end moments. Only in the beams we have loads. In the columns we don't have loads. So in the columns the fixed end moments are 0. For the beams BE and CD we can find the fixed end moments using these formulas. This frame is symmetrical. The line of symmetry passes through the center of the beams. In this analysis, we can take any one of the side, either left or right side. I am going to take the left side and do the analysis. Let us name the center of the beam CD as G and let us name the center of the beam BE as H. In this frame, we have only fixed supports. So, the stiffness formula for all of the members will be 4EA upon L. First, let us find the stiffness values in the joint C. In the joint C, first let us find for CB. Length of CB is 4 meter. Let us apply that. Finally, for the stiffness of CB, we are getting EI. Before finding the stiffness of CG, we have to calculate the stiffness for CD. Length of CD is 8. Let us apply that. The moment of inertia for CD is 2I. So, in the formula, instead of I, we have to apply 2I. After the calculation, we are getting EI. To find the stiffness of CG, we have to divide the stiffness of CD by 2. When we do that, we are getting 0.5 EI. Now, let us find sigma k. For that, we have to add these two values. After adding, we are getting 1.5 EI. Now, let us find the distribution factor. The formula is k upon sigma k. We have calculated the values of k and sigma k. Using the formula, we can find the distribution factors. Now, let us find the stiffness in the joint B. First, let us find for BC. Length of BC is 4. Let us apply that. For the stiffness of BC, we are getting EI. Now, let us find the stiffness for BA. Length of BA is 4. Let us apply that. For the stiffness of BA, we are getting EI. Before finding the stiffness of BH, we have to find the stiffness for BE. Length of BE is 8. Let us apply that. The moment of inertia for BE is 2I. So, in the formula, instead of I, we have to apply 2I. After the calculation, we are getting the stiffness for BE, which is equal to EI. To find the stiffness of BH, we have to divide the stiffness of BE by 2. Finally, for the stiffness of BH, we are getting 0.5 EI. Now, let us find sigma k. For that, we have to add these three values. After adding, we are getting 2.5 EI. Now, using this formula, let us find the distribution factors. Now, let us start making the moment distribution table. 
in the table first let us enter all of the members then let us enter the distribution factors then let us enter the fixed end movements the fixed end movement for BE can be applied for BH and the fixed end movement for CD can be applied for CG now let us do the first distribution first let us do in the joint B to make the distribution we have to add these three values and then multiply with the distribution factors when we do that we are getting negative values so we are entering inside the table as positive now let us do the distribution in the joint C for that we have to add these two values and then multiply with the distribution factors when we do that we are getting negative values so we are entering as positive inside the table now let us do the carry over for that we have to divide these values by 2 and enter the answers now let us do the second distribution in the joint B for that we have to multiply this value with the distribution factors when we do that we are getting positive values so we are entering inside the table as negative now let us do the second distribution in the joint C for that we have to multiply this value with the distribution factors when we do that we are getting positive values so we are entering them as positive now let us do the carry over for that we have to divide these values by 2 and enter the answers now let us do the third distribution in the joint B for that we have to multiply this value with the distribution factors when we do that we are getting negative values so we have to enter them as positive inside the table now let us do the distribution in the joint C for that we have to multiply this value with the distribution factors when we do that we are getting negative values so we have to enter them inside the table as positive now let us do carry over for that we have to divide these values by 2 and enter the answers in the similar way we have to do more distributions and carry overs until we are getting very smaller values I have done up to the seventh distribution I have stopped in the seventh distribution because in the seventh distribution I am getting very smaller values now let us add all of the values after adding we are getting the final movements the movement in BH can be taken as MBE and the movement in CG can be taken as MCD on the left side we have calculated all of the movements now let us find the movements on the right side the values of the movements will be same on the right side because of the symmetrical nature but the directions will be opposite for example in the point A for MAB we have got a movement in the clockwise direction that is why it is positive so M of E should be acting in the anti-clockwise direction so it should be negative so to find these movements we have to just change the sign of these movements here you can see the bending moment diagram for the columns here you can see the bending moment diagram for the beams now we are going to end this session thank you for watching this video